Hey everyone, Rob here, and we have some updates on Grimsvat, which is with volcano underneath a sheet of ice and a, a glacier in the Vatnajökull National Park area, and uh, it's near the glacial lagoon and all that stuff towards the southeast of Iceland. Now there is a glacial run that is occurring today, and today is the height of it. They believe. Uh, and what that is, is just the ice is melting and causing a flood of water, uh, which ramps up very, very quickly. So you can see a picture of it here, covered in ice. But if we look here, and let me just uh, zoom out, we can see <laughs> a graph showing the decline of the ice sheet since the beginning of October this year. And you can see here the change in meters uh, over time at the bottom. So you can see we're on uh, October 11th well today's the 13th but here we have the uh, information coming from october the 11th at nine o'clock and you can see how much of a drop uh, is occurring now it's not drastically it's not some huge sharp drop but they are closely monitoring this activity because there are examples of volcanic eruptions that occur after this water flows from grim's button and the idea behind it if you watched that in the last video this is a bit of a repeat but it's believed that the sudden pressure relief due to this falling water triggers eruptions. And the last time such eruptions actually occurred was back in 2004. And before that was 1934 and 1922. So it's uh, it's not impossible. They are saying that the longer it doesn't erupt, uh, the more likely that these glacial runs will trigger an eruption. And the flight color code for Grunsvatten has been changed to yellow due to this run because, again, it is difficult to rule out the possibility of an eruption that will start as a result because the pressure is uh, leading, or the pressure is being released. Now, of course, two things need to happen in order for this eruption. So there has to be that pressure relief that has to be enough to wake up the volcano and the pressure in the volcano has to be enough to trigger the actual eruption. But of course, it's not an exact science on this. It's very difficult to predict eruptions. And so there's uncertainty about both of those aspects. So they are saying that the greater greatest pressure relief in Grimsvatten will be today, which is, uh, well, if they said yesterday, but I believe it's reaching its peak around today, uh, and the increased chance of an eruption will be at the height now, which will quickly dwindle after the run. And so there we have that. Now, yesterday they had a update that the flow was approaching 300 meters, I think it's cubic meters per second, or meters cubed per second, and, and the ice shelf where they're doing all the measurements and all the instruments are located has sunk by seven meters. Now the growth is slower than they initially calculated and based on the trend, they're saying it's likely the maximum flow uh, will be late Thursday, which is today or Friday night, which is why I'm doing the update now because we didn't hit that peak. Now here is a chart that shows the approximate route of the water under the glacier on this map here. And they're saying that it's gonna flow at the bridge over Gekusville, I believe I said that right, and will be less than out of the lakes themselves due to the uh, attunation of the runoff in the reservoirs in front of Skeyrjökull. And the runaway outside of the glacier is marked in black. So you can see down here in this red line happens to be the highway. So definitely something to keep uh, keep in mind if you're in the southern area that this is going on. Now there has been little or little to none seismic activity in the volcano and obviously no eruptions have been measured as of yet because that would have been breaking news uh, but of course they are continuously monitoring this development what they did release however is a very amazing set of images from one of the webcams that's there let's just jump over to that and let me zoom in so we can see you can see the date on the bottom it's going across a number of days in october uh, all around the same time, you can see the amount of water that is sort of running from this. And again, this is a series of images from a web camera located on the bridge over Kikusvet on Highway 1, which is the Ring Road. And uh, we're seeing the changes in water levels from Monday morning until 9 in the morning on Thursday, October the 13th, which is today. Now, they are saying, and this was updated today, uh, that it's continuing and the, the estimated flow has exceeded 350. The depth of the ice shelf uh, where the measuring instruments are located is now around 11 meters compared to seven meters, which was the same time as yesterday is what we're taking a look at here in sort of this series of images. 
And since yesterday, or in the early mornings, there have been signs of running water in Gixuvel, uh, <laughs> trying to say that correctly, by Highway 1, both on the cameras and the water level gauges. And uh, they're saying that, yeah, the flow is going to continue and will probably reach its maximum in around 24 hours from now. Uh, and then it'll obviously start slowing down. No su significant changes have been observed in the seismic activity in the volcano of Grimsvat uh, that are associated with this event at all. And, of course, as I said earlier, there have been no volcanic eruptions that have been seen. So that's pretty much it for the updates. I mean, today is the peak going into Friday. So we're at it now. If something's going to happen, it'll probably happen in the next 24 to 48 hours. But it looks like things are fairly calm. So I'll keep you all updated. But that's it. I think this series of images is really fantastic. You can just see the power of the amount of water that's coming in. So until next time, who knows, maybe it'll erupt, maybe it'll just be nothing, but uh, I'll post an update either way and let you know. So thanks so much for watching.